Hello everyone, Carlos Toro here, and I'm very happy to be joined on the line by one flyweight champion, Adriano Moraes, who is coming off of a phenomenal win over Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson on one on TNT. Adriano, how do you feel uh, just a week after that incredible victory? Uh, first of all, thank you very much for the opportunity to talk to talk here. And uh, man, I feel really great. I feel really great. The best feeling in the world, you know. <laughs> How was that trip, you know, uh, back to Florida, you know, coming off of what I what I think you would consider the the biggest win of your career? Was it was that plane trip like any other one that you had a after a fight or would this one kind of feel special as you were kind of taking everything in? Yes, of course, especially because it was a, a big win against a, a legend, a, a really good guy, really tough fighter. So was really good, you know, uh, my feeling is the best in the world. And uh, my travel back home was amazing. You know, like I, I arrived here in Florida the Sunday night and uh, was like a uh, travel flight, you know, and uh, really relaxed. I appreciate it. And, uh, and back at home, back ATT, let's come back to work. <laughs> you know, I was reading up and uh, I did not know that your birthday was coming up very, very soon. Did you kind of consider that, that win a kind of an early birthday present to you? Do you have any plans to sort of celebrate your birthday coming up? <laughs> yes, we started to celebrate, right? Yeah, my birthday is next week. And uh, I'm so happy, you know, I can say uh, this big win coming for us as a gift. You know, and this year I'm uh, going to complete ten, uh, 10 years of my pro MMA career also. So don't have way better to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And first of all, happy early birthday and uh, congratulations on the uh, on the decade uh, of your pro MMA career. Certainly been a successful one, uh, to say the least. You know, coming, you know, get coming into this fight, obviously, the platform was maybe about as big as you've had, you know, as a pro MMA fighter, you go up against Demetrius Johnson. Would you kind of consider this maybe the most satisfying win of your career? As is now you're the whole world knows, knows who you are and how good you are. Yes. Uh, the one championship being live uh, on TNT gave me this window, right? And I've, I've been working really hard inside the one championship. I've been inside the company for eight years, and just my last fight, we had this big window for the American audience, right? So I was proud to uh, for one championship. They deserve this, you know. Uh, they working hard every single day to put this uh, this big organization for every audience in the world, and it was amazing to to find live on TNT, you know. <laughs> You know, from going back to the fight, you know, from the very beginning, it, it looked like Mighty Mouse was, you know, trying to close the distance and just trying to get inside. And you were doing a great job at sort of maintaining that advantage in your reach and your height. And then all of a sudden you found that opening to hit him with the knee in that second round. You know, were you a little bit surprised that you got such an open and such a clear opening to hit him with the knees so relatively early in that fight? Yes, uh, I was training a lot of my timing game, you know, like, and uh, when I catch him with that uppercut, it uh, was amazing because I, I got him in the timing because my punch even went to, like, powerful, so... When he get, when he he goes to the ground and uh, he tried to stand up, I can connect really good uh, my left knee. And bro, it was nice. Uh, of course, we train hard to win, you know. But that form was really really amazing. You know, beating uh, Demetrius Johnson, obviously, the everyone in MMA was giving you so much support. I'm seeing guys, you know. Uh, Patrick Freire, you got uh, Kyoji Horiguchi sending you a lot of love uh, on Twitter. Were you even, uh, were you taken aback just how much love and how much support you were given from the entire MMA world uh, after that win? How did it feel to sort of get that kind of recognition? Man, uh, I'm so proud, you know, because uh, this fighter is an uh, inspiration to us, you know, and receive some 
kind of message, kind message they support me it was amazing, you know. Kyoji Horiguchi is one of the best fighters in the world. He is a KO artist. And uh, since we start to train together, we learn a lot with each other, we trade knowledge. And uh, this time that I learned, he, he, he tried to teach me every single day, you know, like it was amazing, you know, uh, and give it this win for, for this kind of people, like was was really nice. Did it feel like there was maybe more pressure to sort of stand out and win this fight. A lot of people had Demetrius as sort of the betting favorite. Uh, was it more pressure that it feel like it was more motivation to go out and showcase your skills and get that win? Like, of course, after this win, I feel really like, hey, it's, you know, like I didn't, brother, I didn't expect a lot of, a lot of pressure on my mind, but I knew I went for the fight as underdog, and uh, but uh, I knew I, I knew also uh, how big is my talent, you know how big is my heart, and uh, and I knew I can do a good job, and that is what I did, you know. So I was with, with the win against my mouse, and you have so several title wins, you know, most successful. Uh, one flyweight champion uh, in the company's history. Where do you kind of, you personally, where do you kind of rank yourself in the all-time greatest MMA flyweights list? Where do you kind of put yourself on that list? Uh, brother, uh, I think DJ, DJ is still in the first place, you know. <laughs> I think he's keeping being the GOAT uh, of the division, of course. And i just trying to to still uh, write my story, you know, and um, I don't think I deserve like the first place. I have a, a, such a really good fight in front of me and um, who made it history in this division, you know, who made it history in this division. Uh, but uh, I know I'm in, I'm in the middle. I know I'm in the middle of these guys. You know? <laughs> <laughs> very, very humble answer. Uh, you know, one thing that uh, I was that I, I thought was great was, you know, when you were on Twitter, you were talking about how Jorge Masvidal was telling you, do you the knees can change your life? And it did. Uh, they, would they, have you had a chance to talk to Jorge uh, a- after the win? What did he think? I know he was very high on you. Why, he was look he was expecting you to win. Uh, have you had a chance to talk to him at length? And what did he think of the fight? Yeah, here America top team, we watch uh, we watch our train and each other what can watch the, their train. And George, George was one uh, George was one of the guys who came over me and said, "Man, you you are really good. You know, I believe you can win this fight, brother. I believe you can win this fight. And uh, and be, pay attention. They need to change lives. And uh, and uh, in our back, he have a, a big print of him. The America top team give up his flying knee on the Ben Askren face. <laughs> you know, like I, I look at the print, the big the big print on the wall, and I told him, man, he, yes, can change lives. You know, and it was funny because Patreon come to American top team, mm-hmm. and uh, and he did that that knee also. You know, like so a, a lot of things try to, to like to bring me some knees <laughs> like some <laughs> knees and uh, man i was i was really happy to accept my knee and and got, and got that win what in your opinion what was better your knee or jorge's knee against masvidal i mean against ben Askren. Uh, ben Askren, right man <laughs> I think the the Masvidal knee game first place, right? <laughs> and in the beginning of the fight, flying knee, man. It was, no it one was... saw it coming. No one, not even Ben. Ben didn't see it coming. That's for sure. Yeah, it's like <laughs> in five seconds, <laughs> it's hard to beat. You know, for you, what's next for you? Net, you know, you're coming off of the uh, of a two year layoff. And now you already got this win. It wasn't a long fight, and it's not like you took a ton of damage in in, in that fight. So, when, in your opinion, or how, when do you wish to sort of return to the ring, uh, to, to the cage? Yes, I, I want to do one more fight this year, 
you know, uh, uh, I don't know uh, where or when yet, but uh, because it's, it's, we are in hard times of COVID-19, like it's hard to travel. It's been hard to travel, you know, like you need a lot of restrictions and stuff, doing a lot of exams and stuff. So, of course, you always wish to go there and fight, be busy. But I think because of it, I think I don't, I, I just going to do one more fight this year. Mm -hmm. uh, and let's see against two, who, where are going to be ready. Do you have a, any sort of name that in mind that you wish to fight, whether it be a flyweight or maybe you even have desires to go up to bantamweight if you want? Yes, yes. We have a lot of, uh, a lot of options uh, for now. And, uh, and I, I'm happy. I'm happy for you to know I have a, 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 a lot. I have a lot of options to do a good fight. And uh, let's go and, and, and bring the best fight. Who the best fight for me, you know? You know, you were, it's been so long. It's before this fight. Uh, it's been so long since we last saw you fight. How hard was it? to sort of have to wait and, and wait so long to finally get that fight against Dimitri Johnson. If I remember correctly, this was supposed to take place last April, last year, and then the pandemic just shut everything down. So how hard was it for you, you know, it personally and going day by day, just trying to figure out, you know, when am I going to fight again? Am I just going to be st staying in the gym uh, every single day until this all is over? How, how tough was it? Yes, yes. Uh, sometimes when it's happening, uh, I think go directly for your mindset, mm -hmm. you know, like a, like a frustration, like anxiety and stuff, you know. I think the first step I did correctly was like put my mindset strong and keep it doing what I love to do. What I love to do, I, I love to wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and say, man, I'm the champion. I'm the best fighter in the world. I go to work. And uh, I mean, being inside the gym these two years, I like to say I was inside the lab, helping my teammates, doing my part, you know, as a, a, a team member from our top team. Uh, I have obligation to go there and, and give my best and helping my people, help my friends, help my teammates to do good in their fights too, you know. And uh, so I'm being inside the gym, doing what I like to do, you know. And I competed jiu-jitsu, some jiu-jitsu tournament to, to complete, né? to complete my lifestyle and, uh, and to be in action. And I think uh, these two years passed fast, passed it, né? really fast. And, uh, and it happened the best, the best way ever, on the best way ever. Lastly, Adriano, do you have anything you, you want to say before we kind of end things off here? Any message to whether it be one or to all your fans or the new fans that you've made uh, since this win against Mighty Mouse? Yes, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to support me. Thank you to have me. Uh, thank you to send me a lot of like kind of message. And um, I hope everyone uh, stay healthy, stay good, you know. And uh, I can't wait to come back and do it and put in a show again and and sh and show to the world and uh, outside of UFC have a, a really good fighters uh, ready to put in a show thank you Adriano thanks so much congratulations on this one against Mighty Mouse and hope you enjoy your birthday next week thank you thank <laughs> you very much <laughs>